Ashley here coming to you today with another doll review. This is kind of an emergency doll review. I was planning to do it under different circumstances, but it got left on my porch in the hot sun and I was planning on opening a different doll before I opened this one. So let's get into it. Got these scissors to cut open the box. I'm just concerned that it having been left out in the sun for so many hours may have damaged it because they are not meant to be left in extreme heat and it's almost 100 degrees outside. Okay, the box has been unwrapped. Lifelike reborn baby doll. same studio that I've purchased from previously. Had a lot of really good experiences with this studio so far. I'm going to go ahead and pull the baby out of the box here. I'm going to set these scissors over here. And good. It looks like the baby was not damaged by the heat baby's a little bit warm. This is the first baby that I've ever gotten that doesn't have any hair. The hair is painted. And I did that because my daughter doesn't do well with the hair on the dolls. And so I thought this would be a nice baby for her to have because then we don't have to worry about her destroying the hair. I'm gonna open the bag up so you can get a closer look at some of the detail on the doll. Okay, she's out of the bag now. She is very warm. I'm not sure that all that sun was good for her. She's not sticky though. Almost feels like, I don't know, we'll see if it did anything to the paint later. Yeah, she's sticky. I don't think it was very good for the paint. She kind of has a little bit of a... Just make sure when you get your babies that you're home because it's not good for them to be left out in the sun, especially if you live in very hot weather. But. It's the detail that I would expect on a doll coming from this particular studio. Very nice, nicely detailed. I'm pleased with the hair. The hair does look very nice. I think my daughter will like it quite a bit. It only has one set of eyelashes on the top, it has blue eyes. the back of the head looks like. Just like with the others, it came with a birth certificate, a bottle, a pacifier, and it looks like a little hair bow. I just checked and she's anatomically correct with, I don't know if you can see the veins in her little chunk rolls there, but she does have veins present in all of her little chunk rolls. And she came with her bottle and diaper and her little passy, just like everybody else did. And my daughter is going to be so excited when she gets home. She is at my parents' house right now. She's going to love her. It gives her some time to dry, though, because she's a little sticky from being left in the heat. So I will give her a bath once the stickiness subsides and hopefully it didn't do any damage to her sitting in the sun like that because she's a very beautiful doll. Definitely would recommend just make sure that you are home when she is delivered because these dolls are definitely not meant to be set out in the sun. Also really quick so you guys can see the difference between one of the toddler sized dolls and the baby sized dolls 
Timu, the toddler size dolls are definitely bigger. This is Reina. We haven't given her a name yet, but Reina is definitely bigger than the new baby doll. Now that it's been a little bit of time, I just want to show you some detail on her little fingers. I was just concerned about the paint being sticky earlier. Very cute positioning of the hands. I haven't even seen the feet yet. Looks like we dodged a bullet, but she was a bit sticky and sweaty from the paint. I was home when she got here, but I was not feeling well. I've been really sick the last few days, and I've basically been bedridden. So, I didn't realize that she had been delivered. I'm starting to feel better, but I'm still sleeping quite a bit. Which is why my house is so quiet, because... My family is helping take care of my kids right now. I am pretty confident that she's dry at this point and I wanted to show you more of the detail on her because I was not afraid to take off her shirt before I was because I just didn't want to risk damaging her. But she has so many cute little rolls on her here and here. And her back. I'm getting ready to try some newborn size clothes on her to see if they fit. So we'll find out if they do. And this is her in a newborn size sleeper. So it almost looks like you could probably get away with putting creamy clothes on her because there's so much left here. So I would maybe try preemie clothes as well as newborn clothes before I invested in a lot of clothes, but I definitely could see her fitting in newborn dresses if you have some laying around for sure. And you can make do with newborn clothes for sure. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, stay kind, and live your best life.